What's up, Collective? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic as clowns. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Collective. If you don't know your divine, but, um, you're here to get some answers, to receive some messages, then hit that thumbs up button for me. That's the way to energetically donate to my channel. So what I need you to do is also, if you like the video, if you like the message that I bring to you, don't forget to, to um, hit the subscribe button. And if you think you won't be able to stay for the entire video, click that notification bell so you will be notified when the karmic circus is in your tent. All right. Somebody has a tea kettle. You hear that? Is it a tea kettle or is it an airplane? I hope it's not an airplane. What are you doing? You know, it's my time. It is 10.30 p.m. And my cats are in there playing, messing with shit. Okay, so as I split the deck, Divine Feminine. Can't nobody hold you back. Can't nobody hold you. Is it down or back? Oh, no. You got to get your groove on. This is the energy of someone that was trying to keep you anchored down in a situation. You could have been anchoring down a situation. You could have been the one holding down the situation in a relationship or in a situation. Somebody could have been trying to anchor you down. Here's some sort of uh, delayed paperwork. It could come from the courts. Something you've been waiting on, some sort of documents that you've been waiting on. Okay. You may feel like you're the main person that the court, why you haven't received some papers from the court. And this could have been anchoring you down. Not being intimate. So for some of you, you may you may not be letting a situation hold you back by waiting on some paperwork. You're continuing to do what it is that you need to do in life love whatever um it's like you're focusing on yourself you're not being intimate with nobody you're not having sex with nobody same thing um you could have been in a relationship where there was no equal give and take this person didn't you know treat you as the queen you're supposed to have been treated okay you may not be talking to this person right now yeah, some paperwork, some documents. It could be a birth certificate. It could be divorce papers. It can be DNA papers. It could be a death certificate. It could be something to have to do with some money. It could be a check from the courts. Um, some documents. Okay. You may feel like the courts is not treating you because you know you're a privileged lady and the courts is treating you shitty. I know that feeling. Somebody is not talking to their family. They're not talking to their lover. It's like you're just being quiet, not speaking to anyone. 
You may be um, having to be, I see some deception out here. I see somebody praying, um, hoping their prayers come true. Your prayers are being heard and answered. You just have to have faith and believe that everything will happen in divine timing. Okay, there's some spell work. Someone is is um, trying to do spell work against you, but your your prayers, excuse me, this prayer, your prayers are are blocking this spell work. And this is somebody in your family that you're not talking to. And others of you, this is a lover that you broke up from, that you're not giving them to. You're not wasting your time. Somebody out there, you're not having sex. You're not being intimate. But somebody don't want you to cut them off sexually. They're praying that you don't cut them off sexually. This person makes a lot of unwise decisions. Now, this could also mean that you, um, it could be somebody that don't want you to cut them out. Somebody may not want you to, to, to feel the wrath of you cutting them off, cutting them out, cussing them out, not giving them no loving. Not paying attention to them. Not focusing on them. They're praying that none of that happens. Okay? And this person is... is, is the crazy thing is, they don't want you to cut them off, but they're trying to figure out ways that they can try to get you back in the bed. Secretly. Being deceptive. Trying to do some sort of spell work, but it's in reverse. Spell work is in fucking reverse. Now, this could also mean that this is somebody's manipulation tactics. This could mean that the the um, see the whip that can be that could be somebody took some of your hair. Say for instance, you they could just take a little bit of your, a little strand of your hair like that, and you may not even know it. Okay, cut a little, a little like that, or a little right here. You know they can cut your hair and do spell work with it. Okay, this could also mean that somebody is abusive to you physically. This also means someone is trying to bond you. You see the red ribbon? Someone could be trying to bond you with a love spell. But whatever it was, it, it didn't work. Okay, they can't keep you trapped or caged. And see these colors right here? You could be dealing with the earth sign with all of these earthly colors out here. Okay, and this person is thinking about you. They thinking, but do this person look look this like a devious thought? They're they're looking like they want to manipulate you. How can I manipulate the collective? Okay, they was praying and hoping you didn't cut them off sexually, but. Their prayers ain't getting the answer to that because you ain't giving them shit. And now they thinking, they secretly thinking on ways how they can keep you from being privileged. Thinking of ways how to keep you from getting your privileges when it comes to city, some court papers. Trying to figure out how they can delay some court papers secretly. This person may be smiling in your face and they the enemy. But they're trying to anchor you down or keep you stuck in a situation, but they can't. Motherfucker, that's crazy. I don't like cussing like that, but these cards be, you know, the energies that come out and then you start thinking and about you using your intuition and all of that. 
Well, you see people for who they really are. Some of you with this black magic out here, if you don't know, maybe you need to purchase yourself an amethyst. That's the purple stone. Or purchase purchase a uh, a black obsidian or a black tourmaline. I'll put the uh, I'll put it in the description box below. Okay, you just click on one of the hashtags. A black obsidian, um, black tourmaline, black onyx, and amethyst. Okay. And some of you could be dealing with a, a, a water sign or you may need to use your intuition when it comes to something. But Spirit is saying everything will happen in divine timing. Whatever it is you're thinking about or looking for. Everything is, is is on God's time, okay? They see your prayers. They hear your prayers. They know your desires. He know your desires, okay? Here's an ending out here. Here's a Scorpio energy. What is it that the collective need to be aware of what's coming towards them, Holy Spirit? What is it that the collective needs to be aware of? There could be a Scorpio energy coming towards you, collective, that's going to show no concern. Um, this person may come as like a beggar type of energy. They're, they're not coming bearing gifts. They're not going to be a gift. They have no gifts. This could be the person who you cut off. They could be returning back, trying to reconcile. But this is a dead end re in relationship. What else, Spirit? A choice. Unexpected income. Spiritual attacks and delays. Main mail in reverse. Stability and joy in reverse. Secrets. Um, like this person you thought they were bad luck. Expectations in reverse. Somebody taking a risk or a gamble. Poverty in reverse. Sudden wealth. The community. And the rat. Somebody can't use you no more. Okay, so. There is. This could be. The energy of a Scorpio around you. I'm a Scorpio. This could represent death. This could represent endings. Secrets. Poverty in reverse. And yes, I do read reversals. Because it don't, I take it as the opposite. It don't always mean that. When the cards come in reverse, sometimes the cards come upright and they're bad. So if you're reading them upright and then you're in reverse, that means there's something good, right? Don't you think? So, this is a secret. Or somebody may be secretly in poverty and don't want you to know. Somebody could secretly have some money. And they don't want you to know because it's over which between you and them, or this is how you are towards them. Okay. Secrets. And see, I feel like this, whoever you're dealing with, they don't want you to be abundant, basically. You may, um, you're not expecting this. It's like you took a risk or a gamble when it came to this person collective. This person was trying to use you.
They they possibly didn't have a car or no transportation. They hung with a lot of people when they come to your house. They probably uh, their friends was always in your pots and your refrigerator and shit begging. This person could have been the energy of giving a lot of money away, but shot not showing no concern towards you. Who is this energy given to? Who is this person bothering and thinking about giving to? This is why they could be in poverty because they've been giving a lot to people. It's the immature person. An immature man. That's why that's why his 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 uh he's showed no concern. Something I can't scratch me. Um this this man, he could be five years older than you, or you could be five years older than him. But this man didn't have no concern about giving money away. He was immature when it comes to money. Okay? He was always giving unexpected income. People wouldn't even, people wouldn't ask him for money. He just wanted to give money away. Okay, this is very immature. He had no concern about how he just gave money away. But see, now he's secretly going through some spiritual attacks when it comes to the money. He could have been secretly trying to use you while he's giving all his money away to others. This is what the narcissist will do, okay? And with this sudden wealth out here for a Scorpio energy, you're not in despair. Just keep working on yourself. I see a child here with you, a little girl. She could be nine years old or 18. You're not in despair because you work on yourself. You're not in despair because you focus on your finances. And some of you are not in, this, in despair anymore because you got a new job. You got hired. Some of you, your child is about to receive some sudden wealth. Somebody's daughter is about to receive some sort of sudden wealth. Tell me about this child. Somebody is apologizing. What's the apologizing? And clarify the setting up for this child. Why is this polar bear here? How did this person treat the, they treat the child cold? Somebody could have secretly had a child. While you was at work, they could have been fooling around with somebody. And they could be apologizing to you for that. Yeah, for being false and you caught them. They're exposed. You know they're false. Tell me more, Spirit. Someone from a distance is returning. Somebody's ex. Who's also immature. So this is a couple out here. This man that's giving away money. He's immature giving money away. And if if this is not. If this family. I mean this couple. The, imm the immature man. Okay it's the mature couple. The mature man and the mature woman. Now this could mean, since both of them is in reverse, this could mean that they both not talking to each, other, to each other right now. It could mean that these two mature people are acting immature, in reverse, okay? Now, this karmic ex that just popped out here, that came from out of town, She's looking at 
this older feminine like she's immature. Like she come back and she come back to town looking straight at somebody like they immature. Or she could be looking out this window. This could be somebody who's related to her where she's looking for them to come to her. Okay? This could be uh, somebody she fooling around with. Or this could be a sister. Or this could be her mother. This could be you, Divine Feminine. You could be an ex-wife, ex-girlfriend. And you could be waiting for um, someone in your family to return from another uh, a distance from you. You could be looking for somebody, okay? Okay, Spirit, give me one more card for Divine Feminine. One more card for Divine Feminine. I said one card, Spirit, not two. One card, not two. One card. I'm getting sleepy now, Divine Feminine. the pathway so no matter what you're going through the trials and tribulations you you continue to go down the pathway you know what you're supposed to be doing you know what your purpose is if you don't know what your purpose is if you don't know what your calling is whatever it is that you love to do I mean you love it with a passion it's it's either that passion is to bring you money and joy into your life. If it's something you can make money like a job, and it's your passion. If it's something you create, something you do, that's your purpose. And it may be for you to share that purpose with someone else. Um, it may be for you to, well, basically share that purpose monetarily, um, spiritually, emotionally. You're supposed to tell somebody. And that's going down the, the pathway because you see all of them butterflies. And the road, you may feel like you don't know where you're going. But just follow the light, Carol Ann. Follow the light. Okay? I love you. And have a blessed one. Peace.